My name is uh, James McKinney. I'm the Head of Integrated Waste Management for the NDA. Radioactive wastes are those materials that are deemed not to have any further use. They cover a very broad range of materials. Uh, the, uh, in terms of the nuclear industry, we have relatively large volumes of uh, concretes, steels, graphite, they are also included in the inventory are plastics, oils, and pretty much any material you can think of. In the UK, we have three main types of radioactive waste. There's low-level waste, which is the lowest end of radioactivity, and within the low-level waste category, we also have very low-level waste as well. Above a certain threshold of radioactivity, the waste we have to treat as intermediate-level waste. And there's a final category, which is high-level waste, and the only place in the UK that manages high level waste is the uh, cellar field site. Waste management is a really important part of NDA's strategy. It's essential in delivering our mission in terms of site decommission and remediation. Without robust waste management routes in place, we cannot deliver our mission. NDA's role in terms of waste management is to really uh, to deliver uh, strategic options to uh, provide a leadership role in developing strategic options that help to improve or optimise the waste management process across our estate. The waste hierarchy is an important tool for the NDA and the, and the broader industry as well. It sets down a, a priority uh, of principles to help us deal effectively with our waste. The first principle is waste prevention and uh, here is to consider the possibility of avoiding waste in the first place. If wastes are unavoidable, then how do you minimise those wastes? What technologies are available that allows, it, allows us to minimise waste? And uh, then it's about asking the question, could you extract value from the waste itself? Even though they've been deemed waste, there is often uh, valuable materials in there, such as metals, for example. Could you look to reuse those materials could we treat them in such a way we can recycle it? And the last stage within the waste hierarchy is disposal. So often NDA and others will talk about eventual disposal, recognising there's a series of steps in place before you have to dispose of those materials. Waste management is not simply about getting hold of some waste and finding the nearest disposal facility. It involves a number of steps. And the steps include waste retrievals, treatment, storage if applicable and then disposal. Waste retrieval is a key area because if by retrieving the waste you're then allowing the next step in the waste management life cycle to proceed. So waste retrievals is an ongoing program activity across the whole of the NDA state. Uh, examples are on Sellafield site where we're making progress in retrieving radioactive sludges from our legacy facilities. That process has just begun. Uh, other areas are on our Magnoc sites where we are retrieving solid waste from bunkers on those sites. Uh, for example, is Hunterston. Waste treatment and supporting the waste hierarchy is a, is a really important area for us. We've got um, clear evidence of how this is making a difference. Uh, for example, at Barclay, we had some very large boilers that because of treatment we're able to recycle the majority of that material back into the industry where only a fraction of that total material ended up in our low-level waste repository. Waste storage uh, in support of the high-activity waste strategy is really important. In the UK we have no available disposal route for high-activity waste. So storage needs to cover a period of, of decades. And in support of that, the NDA has delivered industry guidance, which provides detail and information and also principles in support of how best to support um, the storage strategy. Currently, our strategies cover a number of areas, high activity waste strategy, solid low level waste strategy, non-radioactive waste strategy, and discharges as well. Moving forward, our aim is to have a, a more integrated approach as in the title of our theme area, Integrated Waste Management. Rather than having separate individual strategies in the radioactive waste area, is to have a single radioactive waste strategy that clearly investigates and looks at those boundary areas between, for example, intermediate level waste and low level waste. 